Hey everyone, GoBots here back today with a brand new episode for MLB The Show 19 Franchise Mode with the Texas Rangers as we pick up today 70 and 55, August 19th today. Uh, looking right now at the division, we have a half game deficit right behind the Houston Astros right now as we uh, playing 500 baseball over the last 10 and need things to stay on the on the upbeat right now for us. Looking at the lineup, oh, Herrera is still on fire for the Rangers, batting 300 on the year, 27 home runs now, 76 RBIs, by far leading the way for the Rangers in the home run category, just absolutely killing the ball. Uh, Forsyth playing on fire as well for us. Pitching lineup, let's go see how they're doing right now. Keuchel, Smiley's on fire. Uh, so things are going well for the Rangers right now as we are still competing in this division. But today what we're going to do, uh, we're going to play through this August – home series here against the angels and what we're gonna actually do is uh do a little we're gonna do a little bit of a ma super manage stuff with quick manage with our minor league affiliates as well go check in on them see how some of our guys are doing as well as with, with the rangers and we'll jump in in a few key moments as well but that's what we're gonna do in today's video i hope you all enjoyed if you do leave a thumbs up comment down below with your feedback tips and suggestions and if you want to see more, as always, click that notification bell and subscribe button so you never miss out on any future content and you help us reach towards our growing goal of 2,000 subscribers. But I thank you all for tuning in. You all have an outstanding day. And uh, just thank you all for coming in here. So Hillman's on the mound today for us, who has struggled all year. 3-12 uh, and 12 with a 4 6 ERA. So Michael Hillman needs to get something going here. We got a couple guys here. We got uh, Fagan, Talbot, and I think that's it. So we'll see if any of them can get anything going. one nothing lead Oklahoma City. There's Trevino with a home run. Our catcher coming through for us. Fagan hits it to a double play. And now let's see. Talbot. Nope, ground out, man. Not much going right now for this triple A squad. Sanchez with a single. Trevino walks. Man, top of the order not getting anything done for us. And we are now down by two after the two-run single. There's a home run from Monta uh, Montanez. Now a 3-2 game. And this will be his last inning right here. But you're done, bro. You're done. We're going to bring in Springs, and he allows a run. So it's 4-2 now. Sanchez is aboard. Trevino, sack bunts him over. But nothing going. There's Fagan finally getting a hit today. Two on. No one out for Montanez. A new pitcher, Scott Alexander on. There's a walk. Bases loaded for McKee. Who singles in two. Tie gang now. 4-4. Four, four. Talbot 0-4 oh, strikes out. And nothing more can be done here. That gummit. And we got Waylock in there now. Let's see. Got a man on. Two on now. In the ninth inning. Looking for the walk-off, possibly. Or no, we're in the ninth inning. Never mind. We're, at, we're on the road. All right, so we're going to go now to the pen. Bring in Kelly. Come on, Kelly. Dad gummit. Sean Kelly, we moved down. He just blew the game. We lose that one. So now we'll go to the pro t style pro game here against the division rival Angels. And the Rangers need to keep winning. We know that. We're in a tight division race right now with the Astros. And uh, we got to keep on pace. And Andrew Sims, what does he do? A solo home run to begin the night. And the Rangers are quickly down. 2 nothing, 3 nothing. What is going on? Herrera. Got a single. Nothing going for the Rangers there, though, in the first. So now the Rangers got to find a way to answer because we're down 3-0 because our ace is not being an ace today. He is getting thrashed. 6 nothing to be an exact. Holy crap. We are getting beat bad. I'm done. I'm not watching this. I'm not going to watch us sit there and get freaking beat 13-3. to That's bad. That's sick. Sickening. Forget that. We don't deserve to be in the playoffs if we can't pitch with our ace on the mound. What did I pay you for if you're not going to come over here and do what I asked you to do? You know what I mean? Holy crap. So Holden Jernigan, Colin Craig, Shell. we got a couple other prospects in this ballgame today. We're down one nothing. Man, I am just not not a good day so far. Victor Jones singles. We got three on. Fielder's choice. Run comes in there from Linder on the air. Another run on a walk from Jernigan brings it. Colin Craig with the bases loaded two out. And only two come in, so a missed opportunity there for us. Even though we take the lead, now it's been squelched there. It's 2-2 now. Victor Jones with the second hit of the day. And that double brings in two. Oh, my gosh. All right. 
Get him out. I don't even care who we're pitching with. Alright, we're just going to simulate, y'all, because I don't know what else to do. It, it's demoralizing watching crappy A-ball baseball. I mean, seriously, this is brutal. We're getting beat eight to stinking two. There you go. Get a run in there. Oh, okay, you're gone. Bring in this guy. He lost two straight singles. He got out of the inning, though. Credit to him. He got out of the jam. Right there. Good stuff. That's it. We lose that one 8-3. to three. Man, we are just having a bad episode, aren't we? Bad episode. Checking out the prospects. I'm trying to let y'all look at some of your guys as they're uh, battling it out. A lot of them are hurt right now, y'all. I know some of you are missing your dudes. It's because they're injured. They're hurt. They're on the, they're on the, they're on the pine right now. Holy crap. All right, come on. Come on, Bats. Wake up. There's Connor Falefa. I love that man. Such a good player. Such a utility. We're down 2 nothing now. Fagan. He gets to come up to the plate. Nothing going for him. Singles in a run. Jones, good. All right, you're done. Your night's done. Get out of here. We're down three to one. Talbot's aboard, but nothing going. Triple brings in two. Holy crap. Okay, I'm not watching that either. We got beat eight to two. What is happening? What is happening with my Ranger teams? Nobody's doing good today. We were just having one of the worst episodes we've had in a while anyways. Just nothing good going on. Yeah, all of you get a night off, sure. There's the triple. And he singles him in. There's another run in. So a bad start again by Herrera. Praise the Lord for him because he just hit a solo home run, made this a 2-1 game. Come on, Drew. Thank you. Two on, no one out. Bases are loaded for Mathis. He hits a stinking grand slam. Let's go. And a triple from Herrera who now needs the easy double and single for the cycle today. And we have a 6-2 lead. There we go. Let the game come to you, fellas. Oh, crap. Drew Smiley. Are you going to try to blow this lead we gave you? A walk from Herrera. What do we do? We blew the lead. It's your last inning, dude. I don't know if I can give him a, a, sixth, a fifth inning here. You're out of here. Bring him a Callister. Dad gum, man. When our bats are feeling it, we can't do anything. We have three errors this game, by the way. Double from Chu brings in a run. There's a single from Forsyth, brings in another. A two-run Joey Gallo bomb. Now it's a 10-6 lead here in the seventh. Now Guzman with another home another hit is a home run in this game. Calster, you come in and doing some work for us, man. I like it. We'll get you out of there. We'll bring in Christian Klump, let him get some work. We better get out of the jam, Clump. And he did. And the Rangers find a way. Odubel Herrera, two for three of three runs, a home run, an RBI, a triple, and two walks. Uh, somehow got player of the game. I thought it would have went to the man who hit the grand slam, but instead it doesn't. So we're going to go back to the A-ball stuff and check in on these dudes with the Rough Riders. So the Rangers finally get back in the win column. We have Matthew Cox on the bump today. Stoddard wants a day off. We'll give him a day off. So let's see how Matthew Cox does today on the bump. Holden Jernigan walks. There's a strikeout from Colin Craig. Victor Jones, nothing. There's a double from Vilgus. Trying to give some run support, possibly. Two on, two out. Nothing. Single, strikeout, walk. Get out of the jam. He allows two on that double. And the Rough Riders are in a little bit of trouble here as... Matthew Cox is struggling a little bit here. And actually, we're going to go ahead and today we're going to enter in this game. Uh, just so I know one of y'all, the guy that is Matthew Cox, uh, he probably wants to see his dude out in action. So we're going to jump in and play an inning with him so you can see. Uh, there you see some of the transactions and all of them are taking place and stats and whatnot. Victor Jones leading the... Rough Riders actually leading the league in home runs at 17. So here we go. Matthew Cox on the bump. Big 15 on the mound. The righty. Trailing 2 nothing. No run support to help him out in his game. Other than that, he's had a pretty good game overall. 
And that's a curveball in there right there as well. And it's a 0-2 count here for Matthew Cox looking for a K here. And he's outside right there. Could not get him to reach on it. And it's a 1-2 count now here for Matthew Cox. And that's popped up. Shallow and to left and in the glove for the first out here in the fifth inning. One away. And that now bring up Andreas Valesquez to the plate. 0 for 1. And oh, on the border. Begged for the call, could not get it. And it's a 1 0 count to begin this fifth inning. And there's another high fly, high fly out the center. Tochi's there, and that will retire the second out here in this fifth inning. Two down. As Christopher Trainer comes to the uh, plate, one for two with a two RBI double we had earlier. All right, we're going to go look here at the inside fastball. Two up, two down on fly out so far, and there's a four seam in. 0 1 count. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel. Yeah, foul, four seam off, 0 2. Looking for a K here to end this inning. And this will be a 71st pitch here of his appearance. And he rolled that over, barely stayed alive with that runner. Right Ground ball, first base side. Got to make the play at first. And he's over his head. It's an error, and the inning will stay alive as the first baseman throws a whale well over his head. And the runner stays alive there at second, and the inning is not over. We thought we got out of it. And it's an error on the first baseman making the play there. We have Speedster on now, and a base hit will score him from second base. We'll go back to that splitter, baby. Oh, good. Good pitch right there. Couldn't get it to go. Now the one and one pitch. I much rather work out of out of this. I don't. I hate going through the windup. I love this. And swing and a miss on the splitter. Down he goes. Inning over. No harm done. Good job, Matthew Cox. Good sir. And Logan Linder coming to the plate. Actually, we'll, 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 we'll do this at bat with you, Logan. Okay, check your dude out. See how he does. Oh, four seam coming in hot. What was that at? Ninety eight. 96, whoo. That felt much quicker than 96. And that's popped up, center field. Behind on it or something, I don't know. Underneath it, one of the two, but not, a, not a what we wanted at all right there. And I'll bring up Tochi. So we're gonna go now to the quick manage machine and let them do their thing. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's gone. Morgan Steinle back from the DL. Look at him. And he got out of the jam. Morgan Steinle. Uh, we need to get some hits going, man. We have no offense. Solo home run from Benitez. Okay. Oh, Steinle. Come on, man. That's it for us. 8-1 game. And that's it. So, double A, we got thrashed again. Um, oh well, back out of there and uh, get done with that. So Matthew Cox falls now to ten and nine after that loss. Brian Hugo now moves on to eight and zero. Oh. Wow, it's actually really impressive. So now we'll go on to Triple A and see how these guys do today. Uh, let's go quick manage to see who we have on the mound. We've got Luke Farrell who's on fire. Nolan Fontana needs a night off. Okay, so Brian Fagan to get things going. Nothing. A nice one, two, three for both sides. There's McKee with a double. Sanchez. And it's two on, two out for our eighth place hitter, Talbot. And we're going to go jump in. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Dad it. I made a mistake. My bad, guys. Oh, dang it. I was going to jump in on that, but we didn't. Whatever, we're going to go ahead and do this playful game, see how we do in this series here. The finale of this series. We got thrashed in game one. We won game two. Cabrera needs a night off. So does Herrera. So we're giving two of our stars the night off. Um, 71 and 56. So Hunter Pence and Patrick Wisdom on in the replacements. we got Tyler Skaggs versus Lance Lynn. And the division lead is now at a game and a half for the Astros. Is we may be looking at a uh, 
wild card berth, y'all. I don't know. The Astros have just been a tough team for us to, it's time to play game in and game out with when we're not playing them heads up. When we play heads up against them, we've actually done okay. Um, but whatever. So we're going to go ahead here. Lance Lynn's got to have a good showing here today. Got to have a good showing. That's called ball one. This guy knows how to pitch. That's in there, strike one. Okay. And most importantly, he's not afraid to throw. So one one count here. Lance Lynn to Andrew Simmons. And that's a pop out, fly out, first base side. Guzman's there. And the glove went away to begin this game. Here from Arlington. Seattle went ahead, got beat. Estella to the plate. Look at Estella's month. Holy crap! Three eighty four. What a month, man. What a month you are having. Cutter misses away right there. He's on an 11-game hit streak coming in tonight. It'd be nice if we can end that hit streak, wouldn't it? Two seams in. Strike one. Go curveball here. Ooh, got it in there. Good pitch on the inside part of the plate. Let's go to that two-seam setup away. One-two count here going away. And he fouls it off to stay alive. Another pitch here against that bat. We'll go back to that curveball through the zone here. Well outside misses. Back to the two seam. He doesn't like to work the four seam, evidently. It's not his fan favorite pitch. That's in the corner. Bang. Gone. Goes Listella, and that will bring up the highest paid player in the MLB, and that is Mike Trout, ladies and gentlemen, coming to the plate. Big slugger. 323 on his season. Inside part of the play, challenged him with a four seam. He could not pull the trigger on him. He wanted to, he thought about it, but he did not. And that's it well. So Odor, Odor mishandles it. He still gets the play done. Ooh. Barely, barely, barely. He stayed with the play right there, got it done. We're going to go to the bottom of the first. Working against Tyler Skaggs here today. Hunter Pence coming in with a spot start. And we'll see how he does. Getting played straight up here, normal depth. Base hits up the middle and first pitch swinging. And we were thinking two, but we went back to one. And that's a leadoff single now here for Hunter Pence to get the game going for the Rangers. The uh, Texas native doing his job well. Now, now bring up. Nomar Mazzara, who's batting 207 in his last eight, batting now 242 on the season. With Pence on at first. And 12 6 curve floated over there over the zone. We watched it for strike one. Oh, good. Good 12 6 curve there. Fooled me. Bottomed out through the zone. 0 2 now is Mazzara. Misses inside there. The four seam makes things a 1 2 count now here. Mazzara is a guy we did re sign. Um, again, I'm banking on future talent for him. Because that's going to loop in fair opposite field. It's going to move over Hunter Pence, and that will be a double here, I believe. Yes, sir. So two on and no one out here for the Rangers. Against Tyler Skagg and the Angels here. That's his 23rd double on the season. The Rangers now looking to, uh, to, to expand the offense and get some runs across the board here as Elvis Andrews comes to the plate. Batting 306 on his season right now. Four seam inside we just hung off of right there. It's a 1 0 count here. So the 1 0. That's hit in the gap. That's getting down, and the Rangers are on top of it early here today as a two-run double for Elvis Andrus will give the Rangers the early lead here, a crooked number in the first against the division rival Angels, a two-run double for Elvis. Just ripped at right between the left center. Now Wisdom to the plate. All right, so Wisdom at the plate here after that two-run double from Elvis Andrus here in Here's Joey Gallo now. Did you say Gallo? I thought it was Wisdom. Why is he batting like this? Is this his stance? 
I thought he had a different stance. I said to Patrick Wisdom, I'm sorry, I'll just Joey Gallo. He's my big slugger. Oh, Lord. Bad, bad, bad undisciplined swing there with Gallo. 0 2 count now here it's for him. Good Lord. Gizmo quick rally. And that's hit high. And we're not going to try to tag on that as Gallo flies out the left. And it's one away now here in the first. That'll bring up Patrick Wisdom now, filling up for Cabrera at third base. Batting 226, five home runs, 26 RBIs on the season. 2 nothing lead for the Rangers still here. And that's hit well and pulled into the... Oh, shoot. For Pickled. No, we got Pickled. We didn't know what to do with Elvis right there, and that hurt us as now Chu will come to the plate. Now just a man on it first and two away. Dadgummit. <sighs> Another pitch hit. Well, we were just feeling good against this guy today, man. Another base hit. Two on now, two out. Minnie, you got to get down. Man. I got animals all over this stinking place right now. Here comes Odor to the plate. 263 on the year, batting seven, two on, two out. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. And that's a no doubter about it. Oh, he pulls it, and it is fair. A three-run Odor bomb. And the Rangers have a five spot here in the bottom of the first. His 21st home run on the year. Let's go, man. Good swing on it. We got the pitch guess. We pulled it with the X swing or the, the square swing with the power swing. And there's no doubt about that. He just needed to stay fair and he yanked it. He yanked that. And now we got Guzman batting 304 on his season. The eighth man up in this this inning. And it's an 0-1 now after that swing through on the changeup. Skaggs getting torched here early by this Rangers team. And four seam in there we laid on. Down 0-2 in this at bat, but the damage may have been done early here. It's a 5-0 lead. And two seam fouled off there. This will be the uh, six, 17th at bat uh, pitch of, of this uh, inning for Skaggs. Making him work a little bit here. We're not giving to that. Uh, no, you gotta have to throw something much better than that, sir. Much better than that. Not happening. Another one inside right there. So a two-two now here for Guzman, who we've also resigned to a extended contract. And that's hit high, deep, but two trout underneath it. Now stop the bleeding. But the Rangers strike for five. And the capper right there is this three-run mash you're seeing there from Odor to make it 5 nothing. And with that, we're going to go ahead and go to the quick manage. Now let's let Lance Lynn do his thing. Okay, he allows a RBI triple there, but that's it in that inning. Solo home run from Bandy, a single from Hunter Pence. And the Rangers strike it back, get it to a five-run lead once again, 6-1 to one to score. Chu is aboard. And strike out, nothing going there. And now the bats are a little bit quieter all around right here. We got a walk. Ever since that first inning, really not much happening in this game. Uh oh. A three run home run from Brasino. And the Rangers in trouble. We got out of it though, six to five. A walk from Mazzara, a walk from Elvis. Gallo 0 for 4 can't buy a hit. A single will load the bases here for Chu as we come up to the plate. One for two with a single and a run. Nighttime baseball now on here. Bases loaded, one run lead for the Rangers here. And late on the four seam. I did not expect that heat. 97. Holy crap, and it was right down the middle. We just got to hit something deep. And that's. Oh, go back, go back, go back. We were not going to be able to score that. It bounced too, back, too, too close to him. A wild pitch there. We thought we could get a, a score, but we didn't. 
Oh, good curveball. Almost hit the top part of that plate, but we waited on it. Now 2-1 count here for Shinsu Chu. Ground ball, no! He got it. He got the play. No! We blew it. We absolutely blew that right there. And now, what do we do here? Bush is taken out for Chris Martin, who had just blew the lead. Now it's a 6-6 game for these Rangers in the eighth inning. Two on, two out. Fielder's choice. And well, now we got to go to the bottom ninth and look to do something. Extra baseball. Craig Kimbrell on. He's back from his injury. And Rangers. Double and we get a walk-off win here today. 7-6. to six. Odor. What a game he had. A three-run home run to get things going in the first. And then the walk-off RBI double. That's four RBIs on his two hits. And the Rangers prevail here as Kimbrell's back in, the, back in action for the Rangers. In the setup role. How about that, ladies and gents? A 7-6 to walk-off win in the 10th against the Angels. We win the series overall. And now... We sit one game back in this division. Let's go look at the standings overall at the wild cards. We have an eight and a half game lead against the Blue Jays, but look at that 83 and 46 wild card team. That is un stinking believable. That is unbelievable, though. That division over there 83 and 50 something. This division can't even get out of their own way. Pirates and Cubs, it's a five team. All, the, all these teams have an opportunity here in this division in the Central. The Good Lord. Fun times right now in baseball, y'all, but uh, let's see what we got coming up here. We got four game series on the road against the White Sox, two on the road after a break against the Angels, and then we're getting ready for September baseball, ladies and gentlemen. So that's where we're going to stop it today. We just wanted to go through a quick little series here of the Angels, show a little bit of our minor league guys, see how they're all doing. As uh, We'll go check on them right now because did we move Clump? No, Clump's still in there, Kimbrell. Uh, we'll keep Clump up here right now. We'll just keep him as a, a, as a reliever for us because um, he's done well. He's done well enough. He's... You know, the 0.84 ERA. I mean, honestly, that's really stinking good. So, Kimball, you can stay in a setup role where you always have been. Uh, that's all looking sharp and well. Fagan still batting 259. Talbot right now at 230. Nico Del Toro got a call up now in AAA. Backing up Chad McKee right there. And these guys still doing all their work. So lots of good stuff going on here with the team overall. But I thank you all for tuning in. Y'all have an outstanding day. Tune back in for the next episode as we continue on our Trek 2 postseason play with these Texas Rangers in year one. Forget rebuilding. We're going now, y'all. And I thank you all for being a part of it. Enjoy today's day, whatever you are doing out there. Have an outstanding one. And I'll see you all back here in the next video. Y'all take it easy.